Do you know those people who are always so serious? Most of them are usually leaders because they are so goal oriented. They can tell people what to do. They can delegate and make things happen, get things done. Those are the kinds of people that I want to talk about today. If you watch Power Book 2 or you have watched it, you know of Monet. Monet is a typical choleric. You know how she is. Just that for her, it is coupled with some wickedness and ruthlessness, okay? But I just want you to get a clear picture of what a choleric temperament looks like. Hello, right? guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Melody, your host. Okay, guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's high time you do so. I mean, with this valuable content, you don't want to miss any of it, all right? So go ahead right now and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Talking about the choleric temperament is going to be fun for me because I have some people in my head that I I already know who are choleric, all right? And this temperament is so interesting to me because I cannot relate at all. Like, I can... I'm not choleric. So here's the thing. At some point in my education... Uh, I got so tired and I was feeling a lot of pressure and I was like, you know what, guys, I want to quit this thing. So I talked to two people. One was melancholic and the other one was choleric. If you haven't watched the video on the melancholic temperament, please go there right away and watch it. All right. So when I talked to the melancholic person, they were like, Oh, I understand your predicament. It's understandable how you feel. Sometimes the pressure can get to you. Yeah, I do want to also consider your options because you might be limiting yourself. There could be more opportunities out there. Take your time. It's okay. They were so understanding, very empathetic. And then when I went to, take, to talk to a choleric person, <laughs> guys, the person was like, quit? You want to quit? Hell nah, you are not quitting. In fact, the word quit should never be in your vocabulary. It should never exist in your dictionary. <laughs> you guys, so you can imagine two different reactions, two different people, the same situation. So this is literally what happens with temperaments. We have four basic temperaments, like I always say, the sanguine, the melancholic, the phlegmatic, and the choleric. I have done three so far by now and we are left with phlegmatic so guys stay tuned okay so when we are talking about cholerics right cholerics are goal oriented everything about them is about a project a goal or a mission something that they want to achieve so they are always active they are always practical always on the move and yeah it is very good all right, because we wouldn't have leaders if there was no choleric temperament because they get things done. All right. Even if they don't feel like it, they just say, you know what, feelings aside, we are tired. Yeah, but we need to finish this thing. Cholerics are also very dedicated and very committed. Now you can imagine they have a thing that I like, the winner mindset, I call it, because when they have something they, they have to do, already they think that they can do it. They are very confident people like you will not stop a choleric at doing anything like come what may whatever obstacles they are going to stick to their goals and they will make sure that they will achieve them usually they become workaholics as you can imagine because they are always onto something they are very optimistic i mean like you cannot be very confident if you are pessimistic about something like definitely from the point that i was saying previously you have to be optimistic about the future for you to want to do it at, in the first place at all very decisive if a choleric says they are going to do this they don't dilly dally like the phlegmatic like oh i don't know let me just uh, see let me take my time you know there's no rush nah the choleric is not like that they make decisions they are on the move so that is why they make great leaders. Another thing that we have to uh, 
<laughs> to realize about the cholerics is that they are prone to anger. I just decided that instead of me talking about the strengths and then the weaknesses, it's better to just mix them, you know, so that by the time I talk about the negative part, you're not like, oh, I wish I wasn't choleric or I don't know, cholerics are really bad people. No, like every other temperament, you know, they have the good part and the bad parts okay so <laughs> they are prone to anger they can shout at you at the top of their voice they have this hostile attitude sometimes and sometimes it can be very scary and very intimidating to the people around them let's say it's a husband or a, a, a daddy the kids can be very scared of their dad because they know that when he gets angry, damn, it's going down. They can be also intimidating to the other temperaments who are not so confident, who are not dominating like them. Choleric temperament also, those are the kinds of people who are very independent and self-reliant, like they can do things by themselves. They don't care like, oh, you don't want to help me. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to prove it to you that I can do it by myself and I will show you the results. It's like they always have something to prove, you know, like, you know, I can do it. Like, I can even show you the evidence is here. I mean, geez, to them, everything is like a competition, if you know what I'm saying. If they hear that there is a business person who is doing better than them, they want to see what they are doing. They want to see who they are and, you know, prove to you like, you know, what, I'm better than that person. And so it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> please. So if you are a choleric person, please, I just want to advise you with the grace of God with the love of God that in life, not everything is a competition. Okay, please relax. Sometimes you should give yourself time to rest because like I say, they are always on the move. So everything is like target after target after target after target. E Lord. Cholerics are truthful and honest. They can be very blunt. Like those are the people who in China, they say, like they say it here and now they don't have to think about oh how is this going how is this going to make the person feel oh my god how will i say it in a nice way so that they are not offended nah they do not care they will say it right as it is right here right now those are choleric people for you so you can imagine obviously the negative aspect of it is they can appear very mean and cold all right they appear very emotionless and unsympathetic at all yeah so like i was saying if you watch power you know money you won't think that she has love for anyone like she can even feel affectionate towards anybody nah like they appear cold like that i mean that is how they are wired but it is very important to also realize like they are humans and obviously they are compassionate but their degree is very low that is the thing even at work right if things have to be done and then you're there, oh my god, I'm feeling tired, I'm sick. And then you burst into tears and you're like, oh my god, my emotions are all over the place. The choleric doesn't care. They're like, get the work done first, okay? <laughs> Do not cry here, don't cry. We don't care about your feelings. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, it's bad as it is. I'm sure that you can think of uh, people who are almost like that of course there are you know levels to it but there are people who are like please don't cry yeah forget about how you're feeling please let's do this thing <laughs> yes they are very logical oh my god they will think about a situation if you don't have enough reason to convince them otherwise it's like ah get out of here i mean what are you talking about so it's very it's very easy for them to like think logically you know especially let me take it to women because we are usually affected by our feelings by our emotions but for a choleric woman 
it's like logic first the feelings behind opposite of a typical woman okay so yeah for the men who are choleric they are more logical in every aspect they want to see like what are the benefits what am i getting out of this they don't involve themselves themselves in something they think is useless small talk and stuff that has no meaning to it like if it doesn't give me anything or improve anything in my life what am i doing if this conversation is not helping me in any way why have it you know so those are cholerics for you i mean like they are intense sometimes of course the other thing is like they are more prone to be interruptive and they argue a lot for some of them because it's like if they hear that you're not making sense they want to make a point they want to have their ideas out there you know like I cannot allow you to just talk nonsense in front of me. So you will find that when you're trying to talk to a choleric, they'll be interrupting you every now and then. They tend to argue in that way. Like, yeah, that is just cholerics for you. <laughs> Sometimes they may appear to be too serious. I mean, guys, it's not every time that you should be working on something and have goals. I mean, like, obviously we all have goals, but take it easy easy bro easy <laughs> when it comes to the finances yeah the cholerics are great providers they're usually successful in their doings in their endeavors because i mean they are hard working so like what do you expect and they won't stop until they get results yeah so they want to make sure that even for their family they provide they don't want to be in a position of compromise where things are not working out or they lack something so cholerics will do well to provide for their family like they are so reliable in that aspect the negative aspect of being a choleric is that you might be self-centered and yeah appear very selfish and this is very common because if a choleric has a stance on something it is so very uneasy uneasy to convince them otherwise so it's like their way because they think that they are gonna get it they are going to achieve it and whatever you all feel about it like it's none of their business okay but this one also comes with maturity because when you develop emotional intelligence when you learn how to communicate with other people obviously you become better but as raw as it is as a choleric it's very very easy for you to be self-centered and only think about you and your goals and your ego and whatever because they are achievers they are likely going to be boastful they are very proud yo they'll be saying oh you know i bought this car the s class oh yeah last year and you know i've been working very hard to put things together and we have built this company for like 300 million dollars and yeah 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 oh yeah I, I i married last year yeah my wife graduated from harvard university yes 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 oh yeah our wedding was trending in the news and on social media oh yeah like that is colleagues for you they are very proud sometimes they can be very sleek in their pride because they'll say it in a humble way but they will try to make you see that okay they have achieved one two three and four uh, they're very sarcastic they make some remarks that you know like for example like what i was saying that if you are not making logical sense if you are talking nonsense that they think is nonsense in front of them they're going to be passing out sarcastic remarks you know and unfortunately some people will be very offended by that because you know they don't get them so <laughs> so yeah i i have lived with a choleric before and i just learned that you don't have to take everything that they say personal you don't have to like take things that they do 
or when they shout at you, you take it personal. No, like that is just who they are. So if you have a mom like that, yo, you have to like be patient. Ah, the other thing about cholerics is that they are very impatient. Like, I mean, time is money, right? And these are people who are goal oriented. So you can imagine like, if you are going to waste their time in any way or if you are dilly darling, they're going to be so pissed off because they are like, come on, just do one, two, three, you are done and we get out of here. They are very impatient people. So that is one thing to talk to take note about the choleric. Before I finish off, guys, and talk about two more things about the choleric, guys, do well to subscribe to this channel. All right. Like if you don't subscribe, I don't know what you want me to do because I cannot take your laptop or your phone and subscribe on my channel for you. You know, like I cannot do that. So please do that. And also like this video. If you find it very helpful, please like and share it with your friends and family. That will go a long way and I'll really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. So the other thing about cholerics is they are strong willed. So you'll find that they are steadfast even in their decisions and whatever they say, they are very strong word like that. So you don't just, you know, toss them to and fro with your nonsense. No, that is the good thing. You know, you can imagine a leader if they are affected by emotions, they are not very strong word like, ah, the whole thing they are leading will just go down now. I mean, but colleagues are strong willed and they're strategic so before they embark on any journey they want to make sure that they have the tools they can use tricks they can use tips they can use as much information as they can get before they get on that field and get hands dirty because that is just how they are wired okay they are going there to win so they just don't want to leave any stone unturned so you guys i hope this was useful and helpful in helping you to identify choleric so going back to the monet thing you see she's very strict she can be mean she's like always on the move and sometimes colleagues can be very bossy you know because like i say they are independent so if it is in a woman it's even worse because it's like most women are not like that so you can easily spot them if they are uh women yeah so uh, yeah that's basically it for cholerics i hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah please do well to subscribe hi uh, today i'm on your case you should subscribe to this channel <laughs> yeah other than that i will see you in the next video peace Am I seated properly? Hello, guys. No, I don't want to start with hello. Jeez, Lord.